Hi guys! I'm out here in some godforsaken country, so this will be a very short intro. Uh, as you see, I'm in the mountains. But absolutely, you have nothing to do here for survival. Uh, there's nothing growing, yes. Slight, a little bit of juniper bushes and nothing more. A lot of stones, the old lambing, and uh, those reindeer over there. So there is nothing to do here. So normally I would go down into the, the valley and uh, yeah, where there is woods and where you find water and food and stuff like that. But there can be situations that you absolutely need to stay here somewhere because somebody uh, might have hurt himself, like a broken leg or something. Or you just need to rest because it's storming so much that you're really getting cold. But there is nothing like wind that sucks the heat out of you. Uh, only water is worse. But uh, wind is a close second. So what you need to do, your first priority is to get out of the wind. So if you have the force, you have to go walk to a valley or some stones or something that you can get out of. Uh, I will do that. Uh, there is a shrubbery, uh, I think two kilometers from here, over that way. And I will set up a tarp, a little lean-by where you can leave a friend to get some rescue and that he doesn't uh, get too cold. So, uh, see you there, guys. Right, guys. So, it's uh, quite a bit less wind here. I've uh, descended maybe maybe two, three hundred meters, and uh, I had to actually put some sunglasses on because my eyes were getting a bit red from the wind and the sun. Here you see that even in this kind of country, there can be some small oasis of uh, some good things. Typically when there is a little stream you will, you will find it by, by seeing all these, these trees there. You see that's a lot of birch and uh, yeah, birch and juniper and so on and, and that usually denotes that there is water, usually a little stream and you actually hear it here so uh, that's great stuff. I also need I need some place where I can put up my shelter and we are quite near that I think. I'm going to look down there if there is something that I can use uh, to show you the tarp setup. There is also quite a good place up that way because here it might be a bit too, too steep the sides of it. On the other hand uh, the advantage of that is of course that you're quite out of the wind. Unfortunately the wind comes exactly from that direction so uh, uh, yeah, well, from that direction, but alongside the, the valley, so the valley is not giving me a lot of protection and might even uh, be some kind of wind hole, so I have to check that one out. I just want to pan to one thing, and that's, I will show you. Like there. That mountain right there, that looks like a volcano, doesn't it? It really isn't. It's actually quite flat on the other side, but from this point of view, it looks like a, a volcano. I always like that one. And, uh, Actually, guys, that mountain over there, that is the mascot of this area. Uh, it, is, uh, it is used in all the graphics for, for the tourism and so on. That is the, the mascot mountain of the Idra area. It's pretty high. It's a, it's a nice walk up there in the summer, not now. Uh, I'm glad I'm out of the wind slightly because uh, up there it was storming and uh, it was minus two or something. And with, uh, with that kind of wind, it feels like minus 15, so that is, that is the danger with mountains and the open area, that you have to always yeah, take into account the wind shear. So, let's go find a place where I can put the shelter up.
So guys, here you see all these stunted trees. There are there are birch trees that grow as shrubberies, shrubs. That's just because we're on the edge of the um, the tree line here. Uh, spruce. This here will be a good place. Here between I will make my uh, my tarp set up because the wind is coming from that side and you want to be the opening of the tarp on the lee side so that's something you always have to take into account. So I want the tarp, the lean-to leaning that way. So let's get started. So guys. One of the biggest problems with tarps in uh, high wind conditions is usually the setting it up. Uh, now there is, I'm, I'm a bit of luck here because there isn't so much wind. But this setup will not require you to do a lot of things with that. So I'm just going to take a bit of rope. And I have the, I have the tarp still folded in half. And I keep it that way. And I'm going to spread my rope through all this. Through the corners, yeah. right comes from there. and then you take both all the loops that your tarp have. You just thread them to both. Right, I have now the rope for all the loops, and this one is going on ground level, and I'm going to attach that on the tree with a Siberian hitch, which is about my favorite knot, I think. <laughs> Get it down to the ground as much as possible, like that. So. The idea is to get it as close to the ground as possible. Yeah, something like that. And this shouldn't be too tight. A bit loose, like this. Tied over the Siberian hitch here as well. <clears throat> so, and now for the ridge line. There's a bit of a guess where stuff will end up. And now the trick. You see I have my top here, it's looped through that rope. Mm -hmm. And I put the rope through here. So that mm -hmm. The top is looped over the rope. Mm -hmm. so. And this one we will get we want to get taut. So. Try to find the height. Something like that. This of course trucker's hitch. Right, so I've attached uh, these little ropes to uh, tighten up the tarp. You see the rope is going on the inside. 
and this is just a, a yeah, toward hitch or something, just to tighten up the, the tarp. Now we're going to tighten it backwards. Right, so now I want to later tighten this backwards and also keep the, the tarp taut onto the, uh, yeah, the, the, the ground ridge line. So I'm going to do that by taking a little rope and again going through the eyes here. And then I will connect this to this rope again using a taut line hitch. And when stuff is getting tight, this will be my way to control the, the tarp itself. So, now on the other side as well. Right, so now you see how this will be working. Uh, don't, don't mind this uh, little bit of rope here. The little rope goes to both, and there there's the tow line hitch. So when, when I'm going to pull this backward, and this will be taut later as well, it will also keep the, the tarp in place on, on that line, so it will be taut in, in this direction as well, as well as backwards and like that. So it's a two-in-one. So, now it's a bit almost ready. You will see in that corner, so if you look at the, if you fill in the corner there, you see the, the black rope that is tightening the ground ridge line and it will tighten the top both in this direction and in that direction. And uh, the green rope is here just to give the form and the anchor points to the trees. But of course now it's still from the ground a bit. That also has to do with the, with the, yeah, the geometry of the ground here. So what you, what you can do, this is really frozen. You can take moss and stuff and put it on. But I just uh, found some uh, bits of wood because you want it, of course, tight from the wind. And I left a bit of room so that you can actually press it down. So that there is a minimum of wind coming in here. Must, of course, be sure that it's pretty heavy stuff that it doesn't damage your tarp. Earth and stones and moss that will all work nicely. So, it will be done. The advantage now as well is that it is, it is a double layer. There will be much less stress on your, on your loops of the, of the tarp. Here it is the whole fabric that is getting the force of the wind when it pulls down. On the end it's the, all the loops are double and fixed on the, the green line. So you have the, the best way of uh, distributing the force on the loops for, for really heavy wind. So, let's see if I can get in there as well. So of course normally you would try and get a lot of uh, branches from uh, spruce or from the birch or moss to get yourself slightly off the ground. You need to have a, an air layer there because otherwise you will get hypothermic to the ground. But just imagine that for now, and uh, lying here, you're completely out of the wind. And if you're forced to leave somebody to get aid, or then this is a really good way to do it in this kind of terrain. So guys, I hope you liked it. It was nice that Seth came around so that he could be cameraman, so thank you Seth. And see you all in the next month.